everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing something I don't think I've done before on my channel, and that is recreating some Pinterest outfits. I've been feeling a little lackluster in terms of outfit inspiration, so I've been looking through Pinterest a lot and I found a few that I just want to try and recreate. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Recreating this first outfit should be pretty easy. I don't have exact pieces, but I have very analogous pieces, and I think we'll get pretty close to this look. So instead of a black skirt, I'm going to use my black and white check skirt from Topshop. And instead of the checked vest, I'll use this black one from Zara. So we're just kind of reversing the patterns because that's what I've got in my closet. I have two white shirt options. One is this more structured and like stiff shirt from Cezanne. And this other one is a much looser fitting, flowier white top from one of the Nordstrom brands. Her shoes, you can't see it in the picture, so I don't know, but I'm guessing she's wearing some kind of heel, maybe a loafer. A loafer feels really on trend with this, gives it a little bit more of that masculine feel that I think the vest plays into. Equally, and very much in my style, I love a knee-high boot, and I think that could be really fun. Also give you a little bit more coverage in winter if you're not wanting to wear a mini skirt fully, and you just need a little bit more leg coverage. But the third option I have are these loafer heels from, uh, these, are, these are from Aloha and so are the loafers. So another good option, maybe a little bit more schoolgirl. If I was gonna wear like a white sock, I would probably go for these, but to be honest, that's just a little too like girly for me. It's just not really my vibe. Um, so I probably wouldn't do the sock with shoe thing, but it is cute, it's just not me. So we'll see, we'll see if I decide to try these on or not, but let's, let's get going. We've got the base on. This is a much stiffer shirt and a more oversized shirt, so it is a little hard to tuck in and everything, but I do think it sits really nicely. It works. Let's get the best. It's really interesting. As I look in the mirror, I feel like this is quite a masculine outfit in many ways. I mean, obviously it's a mini skirt and stuff like that, but it's just interesting to me that I don't necessarily feel like it's something I would naturally gravitate towards because I would say that my sense of style is very much that like masculine feminine blend. I, like I just said, I don't love being overly girly in my outfits. I really do tend to embrace a lot of these more like tailored pieces. It's interesting that I feel almost like a little too masculine in this. It's just, I think it's because this jacket is just a little bit boxier and doesn't really give me much shape. Um, but I do like it, I think it's cool. I think it's just slightly out of my comfort zone or slightly beyond what I would have put together myself. So let's try it with some shoes. I'm sure the loafer is gonna feel even more masculine, but let's give it a go. These loafers, they're so comfortable. And like, interestingly enough, I don't feel like they make it even more masculine. I think somehow it works. So I don't know, maybe I'm just getting more comfortable with the outfit. Um, I can try and roll up my sleeves to show a little bit more skin, but sometimes that has kind of the opposite effect, it makes it more, more casual and that can kind of take it away from what I think is oftentimes a more like polished feminine feel, but I'm not sure. I like Dimitri from the Anastasia cartoon in this. Uh, that's immediately the character that comes to mind. I don't think I want the roll of those I really like this, but I think that I would want to add some jewelry and just maybe a more feminine bag and really kind of bring in a bit more of the like I think I would just want to bring in a bit more of the feminine pieces, but let's try with the knee-high boots and see if that kind of does the job. I mean, I still really like this, but I want to see. But. Something about these boots and this outfit feel very 70s to me. Am I the only one? <laughs> um, which I love. I'm a big 70s fan. That's like one of my favorite fashion eras. <laughs> but I just do feel a little like, I don't know, it feels a little 70s. I think I want to try swapping out the shirt. I think it's, I think again, like a more feminine shirt would make me feel a bit more feminine. And so I don't have like one of those pussy bow blouses or anything like that. But if you had like a lace shirt or something that had a bit more of like feminine touches, I think that might 
help make this feel a little bit more feminine. So I'm going to try the other shirt because it's just a little softer and it flows a little bit more. And even if it's not necessarily an obvious difference, it might just make me feel a little bit better. So let's try that. Okay, yes, I really, really like it better with this top. Um, it's because of how it kind of floats and flows versus the other one, which was a lot stiffer. I think this just drapes on my body a little bit more nicely, and I like that the sleeves are a little longer. Um, it just makes me feel a little bit more feminine. So I would say both are really great, but they're just kind of different vibes in terms of how they make me feel. And I think just a slight tweak to the way that they convey to the world. Um, like I said, that shirt is just a bit more of a masculine shirt, and this one is just a bit more feminine just because of the flowiness. So I think this is preferred for me just to help bring that balance that I like to find. Here it is with the heeled loafer. It does give a nice kind of feminine line with the heel, but again, keeps that academic vibe to it and gives it a little bit of grounding to kind of balance out the top because this, this whole like black box up here <laughs> that is this vest, I think gets grounded by the solid black at the foot as well. So yeah, I really like this look. I think this is really cute. I probably, of all of them, like the variations, <laughs> I would probably opt for maybe even the loafer just because I really like that chunky vibe and honestly they're just super super comfortable so yeah I think this is a fun one I'm gonna have to wear this soon okay look number two so first I don't have that blazer uh, I would probably go with my trench coat so we'll get there when we get there but the sweater I have a very similar sweater. It is this lily silk turtleneck. We're going to miss the white collar peeking out, which I'm a little bummed about because I love the collar peeking out, but we've still got the basic concept. And then I think because this shirt has the longer sleeves and will fit, which is a little bit nicer underneath this, it, we're going to go with this one. So that's that. She does have a little belt peeking through if you look closely enough, so we got a belt. And then I've got two pairs of jeans. I'm curious to see which will work best. This pair is a tighter fitting, more cropped pair. This is more of a barrel leg and it's a longer pair. So um, we'll see how these work out and which one works best. And then I don't have a heeled black boot, but I do have a fun Doc Martin chunky boot. And I think this feels a bit more, I don't know, it's a fun variation, it's what I've got, so we're going to go with it. Starting with the barrel leg jeans, just because they're one of my favorite pairs right now, um, and honestly because I think they're not as likely to work as the other pair, but we'll see. Yeah, so you get drape in the back, half tuck in the front. to it. That undone vibe a little bit. She's a little, she's a little casual, which I really like. I think that looks good. Yeah. Oh, I really like this outfit. It's not my strong suit. Okay, I actually quite like this. I do think that the wider barrel like pant gives it a more casual look and it's you know, it's hitting lower on the boot instead of a little higher up like the picture, but I think this is fun. I think this is a great option. Um, let's try it with the coat and the purse. I know she's carrying a black bag, but I love the idea of the Celine pop of red in this otherwise monochrome outfit. And I would do a black blazer if I had one that was going to work, but I just don't have it. And then my coat. I would go with the Cezanne Scott Trench. So I think this would be my look. Um, very fun. If you get too warm, especially as we're going into spring, I've always seen people like tie the sweaters over the trench coats and been like, really, who's doing that? But um, you can definitely take this off and just wear 
the white shirt and then this trench with the t like with the sweater tied over. And I actually like I was really tempted to do that the other day with a different outfit where I was wearing a sweater over a sweater and the trench. And I was walking and I was like, I'm so warm. I just I need less on. And um, I wasn't able to like stop and do it. But I was like, no, this is this is when that styling is practical and not just styling um, because. As much as I really like all the styling tricks, it's like, yeah, but it, I don't know, it just, it has to feel like there's a purpose for it, to me, sometimes, in order to be able to do it, and so, yeah, I found a purpose for it, so there's a reason. Um, yeah, I really like this outfit. I do want to try it with the slimmer, slightly more cropped pants, because I think that is a bit more the vibe of the picture itself. This is a bit more casual, I think that will look just slightly more streamlined, so let's try that. Okay, well, in all honesty, I'm not sure. I really, I think I do prefer a slightly slimmer fit with this outfit. The loose barrel leg of the pants with kind of this oversized tucked in top feels a little like all around slouchy, whereas the slightly tighter pants gives it a more structured, tailored vibe, which again, when we talk about, I really like. Um, but I do think these are almost a little too tight and I wish that they were just like an inch to half an inch longer. Um, over the boot, but I still really like this look and I would wear this. I think I'd probably prefer to wear it this way just because again I like the slightly more tailored tighter fit with the oversize. I think that's a bit more balanced and I do think that when the trench coat is actually on the barrel legs probably get it's just a, like a lot of oversized and so again I think you do need a bit of that more fitted feel in the leg to help balance everything out and keep it easy and comfortable. But yeah, I really like this look. I am excited to wear this out and about. I might run to the farmer's market really quickly actually right now. Um, yeah, this is a really cute one. Um, let's do the last one really quickly. It's probably the one, like as I'm looking at it, and I'll show you, this third one is a little bit more the third one is a bit different, and honestly, I think it's going to be the hardest one to pull off. Again, you've got that, like, pussy bow blouse. I don't actually have that in, like, a white, which is fine. I do have it in a patterned kind of burgundy floral, which I think could be really interesting. And then I have the... Well, let me get the pieces and I'll show you. Okay, we have the base of the outfit. Um, the heels... I was like, do I need a belt? And then I realized she's not wearing a belt. And I was thinking about that. I think a belt often adds a lot of polish, like a, a sort of like this finished look. Not that this outfit doesn't look polished, because it does, but it, it has a certain casualness to it, even though she's wearing some quite nice stuff, probably because of the jeans. But also I think because she's not wearing a belt. If she was wearing a belt, it would draw your attention to this like area a little bit. And it just, I don't know, I don't think yeah, as I was thinking, I was like, yeah, no, right call, no belt. So that was my thought. <laughs> um, just looking at this outfit again. Yeah, I mean, obviously her little pussy bow blouse is a bit more voluminous than mine. Um, and I do think that her pants are slightly higher than where mine is sitting, but not bad. I think as if I had an ankle strap on there, that would be right. So... Let's go bold first and see how this looks. I suspect it's gonna be better. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. It's a little too much. I don't think it works. <laughs> I think that maybe I should try it with the other pants and see because what I, I think part of the issue is that you've got this really oversized blazer. It's definitely like a boyfriend cut oversized blazer, not a lot of shape to it, although I could button it, but that defeats the purpose. No, I can't button it, just kidding. Um, but I think that her pants, or I have a barrel leg, I think hers are more of a straight leg, so there's a little less fabric here, um, which gives it a bit more of that streamlined look and doesn't quite, because the oversized and like the long loose fitting with the oversized loose fitting barrel leg, I think it's just not working. Um, which is a, I really love these pants, but sometimes I have a hard time styling them. So, let me see if it's the other jacket, if that works better. And if that's not the problem, then I'm going to switch back to the other pants that are much tighter fitting, but might work better. 
And if that doesn't work, then you need to go jean shopping. Ooh. Okay, I'm not convinced on the color combination. I mean, I think in theory it works, but I'm not sure if I'm sold on it in practice, but I think this blazer is a much better fit. Uh, it's much shorter, it's more fitted. I think this and these pants work much better. Um, I'm not sure if this color combination is perfect, but at least the cuts work better. So, yeah. Yeah, thinking about it. Well, this is with the other jean, but don't think I like it quite as much. So, I think in an ideal world, I would have a more of like an indigo wash, something darker than this blazer. Um, not quite the same tone, so that it stood out a little bit more. And then, frankly, I would probably switch to a white shirt. Let's let's see if we can make the barrel leg work with the white shirt. Okay, well, final attempt to make this work, and honestly, I think this is my favorite combination. I know it's not quite like what was in the picture, but again, we were taking inspiration and playing with what I had to see where we could get to. And I think this is about as far as we're going to get. I do not mind that this brighter blue against this other blue. I mean, I think there's enough differentiation there that it's, it's fine, and I do think that the shorter cut works quite well with this barrel leg. Barrel leg. Um, and yeah, I do think that the simplicity of the white shirt is a little bit better. I do wish that there was a bit of a feminine something here, but I could always add like a white scarf if I wanted to, or I could get a pussy bow blouse top. I don't really feel the need to go out and buy another one, but you know what I mean? Like there's, it's fine, it works. I think it's still very feminine in its own way, but um, has a lot of those pieces that I really liked about that outfit. So there you go. That's three outfits that I took from Pinterest and then translated with varying degrees of literalness. <laughs> but that's the fun of it. If you've never done this before, I really think it's a quite a fun exercise is to go and look on Pinterest and see what inspires you and then do your best to recreate it with what you currently have. I think you'll find that you end up moving in a lot of different directions as we have. And then you might notice that you are gravitating towards a certain thing and you can't recreate it and you might find that there's a hole in your wardrobe. Or you might find that you do not have a hole in your wardrobe and you do not need new things. You don't have to go and buy exactly what somebody else bought in order to have an outfit that inspires you or that you enjoy. So anyway, take the inspiration. Let me know which one you liked best. If you have outfits that you think I should try and recreate, send them to me. I'd love to see them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.